Okay, so this is the door to my accommodation. I'm not going to show you the signs that are on the door, like the full door, because it actually shows the name of the building that I live in and I don't want to expose my address because there's strange people out there. Next to the front door, I have these three coat hooks. I just keep my puffer jacket and my tote bag on here. This tote bag was made by Totes by Italia on Instagram. You guys should all go follow her because she's literally one of the loveliest people ever. And she's one of my closest friends and her bags are amazing. Um, and then next to that, I have this sofa. So this sofa obviously just like came with the accommodation. So I decided to put my two Playboy pillows on it and this pink throw, which I think is from Donnell Mill. Um, I think I showed it in my whole video and yeah, I just think it looks really nice. It's really comfy and just like a nice place to sit if I don't want to sit on my bed or at my desk. Then I have this windowsill. Obviously you can see my view into Sheffield. In this frame I've got a Panic at the Disco vinyl because I'm just obsessed with them. I think that was a birthday present from my friends for my 17th birthday so I just love having that in the vinyl. Then I have this fake plant from Ikea on here. It's just kind of there to fill the space and a bit more greenery and have got some bottles of alcohol because this is university after all so it kind of makes sense. Then I have this orchid that my brother got me for like a leaving present and yeah I think that's really nice. Then I have this room diffuser and it's absolutely amazing. This one is from Next Home and it's fig and elderflower and I'm literally obsessed with it. I come into my room every single day and I think it just smells so amazing. And then down here I have like a little ledge. I don't really know why I've got a ledge but I just popped this Gucci bag there <laughs> just to kind of fill the space. Then I have this desk area where I've got this chair and I popped this like seat cushion on it just to match with the theme of the rest of my room. And then I've just got my bin here as well so I'll just move that out of the way slightly. Um, down here is where I keep most of my uni stuff. So I've got my can -can bag that actually does have quite a lot of my stationery in it. And I've got two pencil cases here and I've got two more pencil cases here. Um, and I've got my daily planner, my bullet journal and a notebook and then my two um, ring binder folders and my glasses. I like to keep everything in these little shelves because it's just easy to access. Um, and I can do my work either up here or at my desk. And then I have a bin that just came with the room. It's a bit ugly, but I mean, it's a bin, so it's practical. And then here is my other desk. I have this curtain closed. I've got these like LED strip lights going across the top of my room. I call them TikTok lights, but LED strip lights. Um, and then here is my desk area and also where I keep my makeup. The room also came with this TV, but I just popped it here because I actually use my iMac. So that one's just kind of hidden out of the way. So you can't really see it because annoyingly I have this like big piece of wall just in the middle of the room but it doesn't really bother me it means I can hide the tv and hide my makeup and um, so yeah I have my iMac I have this little frame that says I've been bent and broken by hope into a better shape and that's from great expectations and then I have this plant that I bought from a beautiful plant shop in Sheffield up here I have this swirly cactus and then this is a mother-in-law's tongue I'm pretty sure it's called and I'm trying to keep it alive because all the other leaves died so I'm trying to keep this one leaf alive and then I have this spray bottle that has the water in for my plants and then I've got my chair um, and I just have it's kind of dirty because it kind of just attracts everything onto it um, so I can't really clean it off very well but this is just a cute little cushion from Dunelm and then down here I have my sewing machine box um, because my sewing machine annoyingly doesn't fit into any of those slots so I've just popped it down here and then at the bottom one is full of sewing um, supplies and I've got my MacBook there, I've got my camera equipment and this is my kitchen. So I absolutely love the kitchen, I think it looks so so nice. Um, this is the soap that I've been using for my kitchen. You can't really see it. It's the Unicorn Magic one. It smells really nice and I love the colour. And then this is my fairy liquid. Oh my god, I've gone through so much of this. Honestly, I've been doing so much washing up. It's actually insane. Then I have like a cloth, um, a kitchen. No, what's the, what is this called? Um, I can't remember the actual name of that. But one of those sponge things. And I've got like a normal sponge just to like wipe down the sides and stuff. Then I have this jar of sweets that my auntie Vicky got me. I did have another one, but I ate all the sweets, so I popped the jar away. Then I have these super cute little tea, coffee and sugar mugs, but I have sugar, green tea and tea because I don't drink coffee. Um, and they have my, obviously, sugar, green tea and tea in, and these are all from Etsy and they are so nice. Then I have my kettle, which is just a white one from Russell Hobbs, and I love the way it looks. And then I have the matching toaster again from Russell Hobbs. 
Then I've got my tea towels. One's folded up quite weirdly, but just ignore it. These are from TK Maxx, I think. And I've got the hob. And then this is like opposite my entrance again. Um, I've got this little pot that's from Monkey, and it has like these cute little boobs on. And I just keep my keys, some change, and an eyelash brush in there. And then I have my hand gel because coronavirus. And then I've got like a plug where I've got my fairy lights plugged in for the other side. And I've got some drawers. This is my cutlery drawer. Sorry if it's a bit messy. It kind of stresses me out a bit, but I can't really organise it any better way. And then that's my first aid kit. It's literally huge. I've been injured so many times already at uni. The bottom just has like random like utility stuff in. This one has pots and pans in it. This is my microwave oven. I've not yet used it as an oven, I've only used it as a microwave so far because I cook most things on the hob. And then this is one of my cupboards. I've got this mug at the top which I love because it matches my kettle and my toaster perfectly. And then I've got my chopping board. I've got four mugs, I'm not sure if you can see them all. Um, and then I've got some glasses. These are the glasses that I use for like everyday drinking, like drinking water or juice because I just like the way they're shaped. Then I've got this cupboard which has my plates, my bowls, my small plates and I have these little tiny cute bowls which I love. I use them for like fruit or ice cream. I mean I haven't used them. Oh my gosh this fake tan is horrific. Please don't mind. I use them for like fruit or ice cream. I haven't used them yet but I'm going to use them at some point. And these are my alcohol glasses. These just drink like normal drinks and then these are my gin glasses for like gin or wine or if I'm just feeling bougie. And then I have my prize colander at the top. Um, she just sits up there because... She's just a legend and deserves her own space. Then, below my sink, I have my cleaning cupboard. So this is where I keep all of my cleaning products. I know it's quite extra, but honestly, I'm obsessed with them. And I have these ones, these like spare bottles from Etsy. And then I have just like standard ones. A few are bits and bobs that I got from my work as a leaving present, because honestly, I love cleaning supplies. And then some of them are just stuff that I bought myself. I've obviously got kitchen roll, some spare tissues, I've got some shopping bags, I've got um, a sweeping brush kind of situation and like spare sponges and stuff and yeah this is just where I keep all of my cleaning products in just one of these little baskets. So this is just an overview of the kitchen and the living room space. And then you come in to my bedroom, so basically they are connected, there's like this little walkway here but then the wall just blocks it off so this is what my bedroom looks like it's so cute I've got all these wardrobes here um, and this is my bed I think it's a twin bed so like slightly smaller than a double and um, but it's so comfy so at the bottom I have this throw and I'm pretty sure this is like basically also a duvet so if I have people to come and stay which I'm not allowed at the minute because no visitors are allowed um, then they can use this as a duvet and sleep on my air bed which I've got stored underneath my bed because I also have like a ton of storage under my bed and I've got this white like textured duvet cover I'm pretty sure it's from Tesco's um, and then I've got obviously the matching pillows for both ones I've got a little pillow from Dunelm and then I've got my bunny and then up here I've got a little candle that I don't burn because you're not allowed to burn candles but I just like it um, just because it looks nice and it smells nice as well. And then I have a little plant and I've got some books. Most of them are politics books. I think all of them are politics books and then obviously Milk and Honey is poetry. I've got my sleeping mask, I've got a few little crystals, I've got some sleep spray and I've got a Billie Eilish vinyl in another frame because I like creepy Billie Eilish to watch me sleep apparently. <laughs> And then I've got my classic fairy lights because I just couldn't go to uni without them. You know, they just are my favourite thing. And then I have a salt lamp and I have this little jewellery dish where I keep my jewellery that I pop in every night before I go to sleep. And the salt lamp was from a local crystal shop and the jewellery dish I'm pretty sure was from Dunelm and it's like a tea dish but I've just used it as a jewellery dish. And then... Here I have a photo frame with this really cute picture of my friend Sophie, B and me um, from when we were in Bring It On. I just really like this picture um, and it was in the frame at home so I just thought I'd bring it with me because it's just a nice memory. I do need some more pictures but for now this is literally the only picture that I've got in my flat. And then this plant which I am trying my best to revive. So far I've managed to like get this bit to grow back um, but I think I'm going to have to like chop it all down and water it and give it some TLC but it's going to come back to life, nobody worry. 
And then I have these shelves. So these are the shelves that are next to my bed. Um, so on the top one, I have another one of the room diffusers. This one is apricot and wild herbs. And again, it is absolutely amazing and from next home. And I have um, the Gucci box, which goes with the Gucci bag from earlier on. Um, and I have two perfumes, the Prada and the Valentino one. I used to wear these a lot when I was younger, but I haven't really been wearing perfume a lot recently. But I just brought them because they look nice and I might decide to get back into perfume. And then I have this plan, which honestly has been such a trooper. I've grown it since it was quite small um, and it's just kind of growing in all sorts of weird and wacky directions but I love it for this plant. And I have a little Vivian Westwood jewellery box which my necklace came in. I have an Astrid and Me jewellery box which I have all my nice little earrings in um, but I still need to get some of them fixed because some of them the hinges broke on them. I mean I have a Vivian Westwood little pouch that I just keep some of my um, going out jewellery in. And then down here I have a Tiffany box, which has my Tiffany necklace in. I have my Polaroid camera, this is just the grey slash white one. And I just keep that there because I think it looks really cute. Then I have this little frame that says Just Breathe, which is a quote from In The Heights, um, from the song Breathe. And I just really, really love it. I just think it's a really good quote and I literally always use it because sometimes it's important to just remember to breathe. Then I have this book that my grandma and my auntie got me as a leaving present and it has a little note from them inside so it's really special to me. And then, oh my gosh, don't break it. <laughs> Next to that I have a little Easy Life vinyl that I bought the other day um, with nightmares and I think it's pop tarts, yeah. I love Easy Life, like if anybody knows me you'll know that's like one of my number one personality traits, loving Easy Life. And then the bottom shelf I have my YSL bag um, in my box and then I've got Little Cactus. Next to my bed I have all of these wardrobes, so this is the first one, this is just like shelves, it's kind of a mess. Bottom I've got my iron and then in this bin I've got my hair curlers and my hair dryer and then here I've got towels and a spare bath mat and then at the top I've got two spare coats that um, I'm not wearing at the minute and then I have an ironing board in case I need to do some ironing and then the next set of wardrobes is kind of opened in one. At the top I've got all of my jeans and then I've got this O poly box where I store all of my belts and then here I've got um, most of my kind of like everyday clothes so these are all like little vests and little tops and stuff. Um, most of this stuff is actually in the wash because um, I still need to put a wash on because I haven't got a washing machine card yet so I haven't managed to do it um, and I've got like joggers, I've got like a hoodies and then I've got like jackets, so they all kind of stay in there. Then at the bottom I have like hoodies and oversized jumpers. Here I have like some of my smaller bags. And then next to my bedroom I've got my bathroom. This over the door hook where I've got two dressing gowns. Not too sure where this one is from because I think I got it as a gift. And then this is just a satin one that I'm pretty sure is from PLT but I got it from Depop. And then this is the bathroom. I have a little bin which is from next home. Obviously I've got toilet paper. Um, I've got a bath mat which is from Dunelm I'm pretty sure. And then in my shower I've just got some shampoo, conditioner, some body wash, some exfoliating gloves and a razor because I had to buy a new one because I left mine at home. <laughs> and then I've got my bathroom mirror where you can see me looking not too great. <laughs> And then I've got my sink, I've got my toothbrush and my toothbrush charger. I've got this soap, um, which is the Love Hearts one. And then inside this cupboard, I've got all of my toiletries. It kind of looks a bit crazy, but there's kind of... I, I, there's a lot of stuff in here, let's, let's not be silly about it. So I've got some sprays, I've got... This is all kind of fake tan. This is skincare, skincare, mouthwash, moisturiser. In the back I've got like hairspray, spare shampoo. I've got some cotton buds, stuff like that. I need to buy some reusable ones, but I haven't found anywhere that does them yet. So I've just had to use these for the time being. And then I've got some toothpaste and a spare soap and some fake tan mitts. And then next to the bathroom, there is the mirror where you can see the entire room. So yeah, that was my room tour. I hope that you guys really did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more from me, please don't forget to subscribe. I will be trying to post a uni related video every single week. So please let me know any more videos you guys want me to film. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I will see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.